Bro, this man literally is the only dude I ever listened to. And do what? That literally makes me feel sexy. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. Before when I do it again. Back and I'm back again. Hey. Know what time it is, man. It's your boy, we're back again. I'm jumping to a new reaction today. we jumping into um, one of the most anticipated albums, at least by me. You know what I'm saying? Every every album from this guy is always um, pretty anticipated, highly anticipated, I should say, um, by me. None other than the Tory Lanez. Sorry for what album just dropped tonight. I believe it's 20 songs on this album. Um, I believe the only song we got off this album thus far is called Why Did I? That was the single we dropped it, I think, last week sometime. Nice bop, nice club banger. Something to cut on the whip easy, you know what I'm saying? I seen him on Breakfast Club. Sorry for what? You know, he's just talking about it being apologetic, uh, which is always something that he kind of is resembled and reflected in just the kind of cat he is. Very outspoken, very just, you know, on on site with whatever, you know, is at, at the moment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, man, you know, we back with uh, Amber Victoria's back in the building, you know, as you see. So, uh, yeah, how, how have you been since um, the pandemic? I think that was the last time we seen you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, yeah, what's been going on, though? Um, I'm on a me journey. You know how it is with the ladies, you know, just on one of those journeys. Oh, okay. You excited for this? What do you think about this Tory Lanez album? How you feel about him? Uh, you know I love Tory. Yeah. yeah. Last time we got a project from Tory, of course, was Alone at Prime, which was, uh, I believe he dropped that in December of 2021. Great album, classic. Uh, I think that album is aging very well. Songs like Color, Color of Violence, um, Steady Climbing the Charts, and uh, people were realizing how dope that album was. I still appreciate it. And, um, man, I guess uh, without further ado, <laughs> let's just uh, get into the album. Cheers to the... Uh, Starting to started this sorry for the what album. Sorry for the what album. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for what album by Tory Lanez. I'm excited, man. Damn, I just do not want to take this. That shit easy, Throw man. It back. First one we got is sorry for what. LV Belt Louis Louis Vuitton. Let's get into it, man. <laughs> Are you sipping that? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did he say anything about the cover? Not on the Breakfast Club, at least. Oh, okay. I know when I first saw the cover, I said it was it was you know I don't like to say this stuff, but it was giving what what I wanted it, wanted it to give. I don't <laughs> I really don't like saying it's giving anything. That but, is hilarious. Yeah, but it, it this is this is what I want to see. You know, when the album is called "Sorry for What," so. <laughs> Ooh, I'm already. Woo! Yeah, come on. Facts. Woo! I like how you let it breathe. <laughs> yeah. Again, again, and again. Louis the Valley, yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. Woo! I Wait a second. You fucked some up. No. <laughs> I did. Bro. Oh, I man. So mad. Man, this smug. <laughs> I'm already feeling good after that. But it's a long record. We got to get to it. Hell of a switch up, ain't it? Bad bitches work at Taboo. This nigga love that. I wish I really had monitors, dog. I need to hear all this shit. No, I got a thing for curly hair. Chicken, chicken wing. Okay. 
Who's that curly hair chick, Corey? <laughs> Come on now, hold on. I gotta get it back, man. <laughs> He's just talking spicy, man. I mean, he talking spicy, dog. He ain't letting up either. So, you know I got a wide body range. You know I. Lollipop. Yeah, hey man, this nigga skating, dog. He's skating. You got a hey man. This nigga Tory just know how to do it, dog. We gotta keep it moving though. Man, this shit feeling great, man. Chicks twerking to this shit for sure right yeah. here. They throwing that ass to this one right here. Uh, right. <laughs> hey, he doing a whole lot of Wayne uh, right. references in here, dog. I'm with that, though. Salute with for that, Tory, my guy. Let's go. That switch up was crazy. We three records in. How do we feeling, dog? What's the tempo? Where we at with it so far? I like the. I don't know what type of style I would call this music. It seems similar to Tory, but there's something very different about it and unique about it, and I really love it. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what Tory have we been. Uh, the intro felt like it felt like a mixture though, but it felt like I told you, mm -hmm. um, Tory, because uh, the high tone he was he was kind of at, and then. But it also had like these vocals in the pro the production thus far has been marvelous. That's what I'm talking about, the production. The production. It seems so familiar, but it's something so different and unique about it. Yeah. And I think I Play Picasso. I don't know what, what to call it. I think Play Picasso did majority of the uh, production on her. Play Picasso was the guy behind like Lost Cause, like a lot oh, of his know, early yeah, stuff, yeah. Fargo shit. For sure. A lot of different flavors thus far, but still seemingly cohesive. It is. I only can imagine what this feel like in the oh whip, my dog. Gosh. Woo! Bro, well, this man literally is the only dude I ever listened to. And do what? That literally makes me feel sexy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Literally the only one. Yeah, he's I when swear. it comes to sex playlists, he's he's the king of this era. For the there's, past there's decade. Something about it. It's his tone, it's the texture of the production. It's that, it's that, I mean, most of the time, dog, people visualize sexiness equivalent to, like, something dark for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's sensual. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he mm -hmm. just embodies that as a person. You know what I'm saying? This shit literally make me have to close my eyes, dog. Oh, my God. Hold on. I <laughs> to hear him on there. <laughs> Oh my God. I love when he get in that strainy voice. Oh my God. He talking that shit. Oh, he talking on here. Oh my God. <laughs> Two, yeah. I love just how he does what he wants, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for that transition. Oh yeah, you know what's coming. Let's go. YDS. Iggy Del Dia. You know he been. You know he been uh, tied uh -huh. to Iggy. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Man, we really need the, the car experience for a lot of these shits. This mug already can tell. I'm gonna say this is Lauren. This ain't what? Yeah. <laughs> I like how he Ooh. The way he That record ascended That's 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 pinnacle Tory right there. That's premium right there. He took that record inside out. <laughs> what he hey, I like when he in his tone, dog. He talking, yo. He been talking all throughout this album thus far. Like no kizzy, dog. But it's the other other records. He was like more, like not as animated and like intense. That boy said, "F playing with fire, you're playing with Satan." Call me too too many times for a conversation. You know you did something, something when you broke my PlayStation. I'm with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this cat talking about, dog? You know what I'm saying? He going crazy. It's about toxic, this nigga, man. But it's hurting me, yeah. Why did I freak you outside? What are you saying facts to? <laughs> What are you saying facts to? Ah, uh, facts. Facts what? It's a lot of niggas spent some money outside. Why did I bring you outside? <laughs> mm -hmm. That don't make no sense, dog. Nuts though. I like how he come in. Fuck. Woo! Man, he kind of going crazy on her. Crazy on this mug. <laughs> Woo, man. That was nuts, dog. His flow is the production, though. Woo, play Picasso, man. He going nuts. And the transitions are crazy. Face. Take. Oh, yeah. This said I told you shit right here. Oh, yeah. 
This that this that genre list Tory right here. You don't know where to put this shit at. Niggas like they don't even want to do LA no more. Not a hot topic. Through Sunday, yo. <laughs> I love, I love all of this right here. That shit just feel otherworldly. I don't want to do it, No more. Any more fuckboy intentions. <laughs> it's no adoption, you can take all of my kids. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> this record, I don't even remember what this record started like. This mug then went from R&B to some other stuff. Red Casamigos, what we got? This is an interesting tone. This nigga said we gonna keep it trashy. <laughs> this nigga. This is really coming off like slim, shady-ish. Really Keep it trashy. All right. Well, we about what three quarters in? You think so? Probably so. How you feeling so far, man? Yeah, I know that song just kind of took me here, but I was like really up here. Yeah, I, I was gonna say thus far <laughs> for me the album. First of all, sonically it's been like this. Like the highs and lows of like the quality has been like this. The hooks, like I just said uh, a minute ago, like they all give me a good footing on the, of the record once it comes in. The rapper sometimes is like, I gotta, I gotta kind of see like how it's gonna sound, <laughs> you know, like as the song goes on, and then it gets better. Uh, but some of the records, like that song, like a lot of these songs are four minutes, which are kind of lengthy. They don't feel lengthy, but no, this, with so that many one felt long. With so many stacked together that's four minutes, it makes it like an extensive record. And then the other record was eight minutes. The transitions have been yeah, Jesus that, Christ. That song that uh any more fuck uh any more slash fuck boy intentions. Yeah, see them them minutes. the last two songs, right? Yeah. Yeah, they they're bringing me back down here. Yeah. See at the beginning I was like up here. And then them two songs, like the ones where you was like, This or one sex sounds songs. different. You know, I love that song. I'm talking about the one where you was like, this one is the first one that sounds like it's Oh, that like YDS, totally Iggy, Iggy uh, Del Dia. Yeah, that one and the one before it, you know, I just wasn't there. But then the song after that, it might have been the sex song. It brought me right back. So then I'm all the way back up here right again. There. And now I'm back here. It's been a lot of this. Because when them songs was on, I was like, bro, I done finally got an album that's going to take me away from Tim's. You know, I listen to that. Well, it's 20 songs, so it's going to be so many songs. I listen to that CD all the time, all day. I, like, barely play anything else. But this yeah. is going to take me away from that. Okay. I said I'm cool with that. <laughs> you okay with not understanding, huh? No, 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 no. I no, no, no. no I, I got no plan but to put you on a traffic and get a tan. I'm good with that. I fuck with this already. She didn't even say that. 
<laughs> Let's got some chick tape vibes. This shit feel good. Roll call, a boogie with the hoodie. I already hear a boogie. Look at my chain go blind for one second. <laughs> Ooh, I love this nigga Boogie. That's my guy. <laughs> this shit feel good. This definitely gotta be the second, the uh, second single. Car. Yeah, 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 you know where that hey. come from, right? What? Mario. Hey. You know that. Yes, I did, bro. Niggas ain't know that. I could have took some more A Boogie paws. Where are L? Sound like he finna get into some uh, Daystar shit on this one. I hope so. It's about time. There's so much bullshit so far. Oh my god. <laughs> Not music quality, but co content. He was yeah, talking about right. bitches the entire time. <laughs> oh, let me get it back. Shoot, sound like he say, <laughs> what do you say? Niggas trying to share a jail. And then you know the, uh, the the baby just dropped that song. Right, Talking but about you think he just recorded this a week ago? Who knows? Or two days ago? Maybe he got the leak on it. Who knows? Let me see what he's talking about. Hold on. Brush Chanel. Couple three songs that I don't care to share. You had it and I had it, so it's wear and tear. Ain't no bitches looking like they gon' pay well. You like that, don't you? She ain't got a lot. She know me very well. Very well. I just don't get all I did it for myself. For myself. Mm. Mm. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Tori? Mm -hmm. Man, uh... And, uh... Anytime he's gotten on this, it's been amazing. Albany, Bahamas. Just left the Bahamas with Justin Bieber. Praying for me over FaceTime. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Come on, come on. What we doing? So you just left Bahamas with Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber probably listened to the song. Like, hold on now. Praying for me over FaceTime by two years back. So last time I seen him, been lost in this lonely road with no highs and only lows and no ties, only goals. And Feel like lost in this lonely road with no highs, only lows. I'm with that one. I'm at the 40 40, trying to find a shorty for me. It's just a whole Zach and Naughty Naughty. And now my nature, the music coming in. Like all this shit coming together nice. Like, damn, shorty, what happened, happened. Now they like, what's happening? I'm like, cool, whatever happened, happened. Throw that ass back. I still tag it, still slap it. I got word you do a hundred on. I'm trying. Chick cheer. I'm talking cheers. Used to shop at Sears. These niggas used to pop their mouth, but had no heart to see us. It isn't then. We don't go major again. I'm in a state of revenge. Fuck all that face. I gotta hear back. Making amends. I used to text the ex 
text and knowing now they text an SOS just to save them from the X they got in bed with. The color and rim caps still here scratching the curb. My gosh, I wouldn't dress my son super fly until he turned five. Nothing like his daddy who be overdriven by the sign. Late night, fucking stripper bitches living out of line. These niggas really are. Oh. This record is beautiful. Beautiful. Record is crazy, dog. Record is crazy. Yoko go blown out. I'm with that. Madness. Why we never finish movie on and I like that. I like he's, he's giving Tory shit right now, but he's coming with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we never finish movie on the Netflix. I'm with that. I like that's a caption. Why we never finish movie on the Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> they don't know they want to fucking next. <laughs> Second time. He, he didn't mention Madonna. Madonna. He said started the year off with Madonna and my dick. Now what the hell did she DM him? Madonna, mama, after all the people you kissed, Wait, did he say it again? Yeah, what he keep talking about Madonna for? <laughs> uh, let me hear what he's saying, man. Uh, what do you mean? The print? I don't know. I, I do remember he had um he either made a song or something that was referencing Madonna and she like was like kind of like she felt the way about it. She was offended by whatever he did. I forgot what it was. Yeah, uh, that's what he keep on saying. And he like we couldn't like settle this over a dinner or something. Like however she tried to go about it. I think he may have sampled her or something. Oh, you know what? He, I think he sampled her on. Um, oh yeah, he sampled her on Alone at Prime. Mm. Yeah, uh, I forgot the song. He bodied that shit. So. Um, I mean, that shit's still on the album, so I don't know if he had to cut her a check or something like that, but yeah, that that's what that was about. Um, on the Lone and Prime, I forgot the song, but the song is, he, I mean, the whole album was crazy, but he killed it, and she felt the way about it. There you have it, man. Uh, we are marked at an hour and 41 minutes. Jesus. The album is an hour and 20 minutes, you know, you know, when you record, it's always a little over that. Immediate. Thoughts? Just let's let's just talk about how we feel after it. Not even about the record now. How do you, how's your state of like like mental and emotion wise? How do you feel right now? Right now I'm kind of exhausted. Yeah. I'm kind of exhausted. Yeah. Like I started really high, but I feel like I'm really on the opposite end of that high. Yeah. It can it can, I'll say how I'm feeling this. I'm I'll say exhausted, not purely off the duration but off the off the um like the course like it was it was such <laughs> a it was such Thanks. a up over around all around type of vibe it's um real. not in a sense that it was like records didn't make sense to be next to each other or it was hard to listen to it was just it's like the course was just kind of not unpredictable, but just kind of a lot going on. Um, but it was also a lot of, it was a lot of good and highs, but it was a lot of just like um, indifferent moments as well. It's a bit exhausting, yeah. but Very typically, like, we're not going to, I'm not going to listen to albums that are hour, hour and 20 minutes just sitting here. So the fact that it's, you know, one in the morning and we're sitting here listening to an album for an hour and 20 minutes that can be a factor as well. I will say that. Because I know a lot of these records I did always have in my mind or say like, yo, this this record in the car is probably going to be even better than what it is just sitting right here. Or if I'm riding, it's nighttime. Like, you know, those things do amplify the music. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the feeling. What were some of your favorites uh, or favorite moments on the album? Song-wise, verse-wise, or just overall? The first five songs 
are yeah. amazing. The no first, question. the first five songs, the momentum was undeniable. Yeah, first six Black songs, Keys. the second, the second half, and um, yeah, I Black was Keys was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say, but yeah, the start of it was crazy. I say some of my favorites definitely was No Parties in L.A. Like you said, um, the intro, I liked. Uh, Albany Bahamas, of course. Love that one. Casa Free Codes was dope. Roll Call with A Boogie, I think that definitely is... That's the one that screams, like, second single or make that a single now. Like, that needs a video. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, that felt good. I like the Rayo as well. Yeah, uh, I said that. That shit was hard. Um, oh, This Ain't Rankin was crazy, too. That's the one. Um, that's the Lauryn Hill uh, joint. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, that, that joint is crazy. Nice. That's the one that um, Drake and... Did. Hey, Boogie did it, too. And, um, what's that girl name? Cardi B. Yeah, so, oh, like, yeah. that's crazy that everybody keep on using that one from her, but, I mean, out of the 20, I can confidently say I like... I, I would say I like from like to love more than half. Absolutely. Like, I can say it's a good ratio. Mm-hmm. Um, YDS, Iggy, Del Dia. See, that's the thing, though. Know, like... A lot of these songs, the second half, I really, I really would love. It's kind of like it's almost kind of like that, um, that Chris Brown album. Where no, no, of, no, no, because the beginning of Chris Brown's songs were amazing as well. But you got some songs you jump straight to the end. I of. know, but the ending is just. That's what I'm saying. But, no, not to say like these are are horrible. No, like, I don't even like the beginning of those songs. Which songs? This YDS. Nor do I like not tricking. I don't like the beginning of those. All I'm saying is, is the better half of the songs is the is the second half. That's all I'm trying to communicate. Right, I got you. Which was which is the narrative for those Chris Brown songs? You <laughs> yeah. can say they was either good on the front, but they weren't better than the second half. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, drive that home. The beginning of any more. See, that's that eight. That's that eight minute song. In in this right here, this feels amazing. <laughs> Like it was and see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think this is gonna give people a lot of songs to pick their favorites from. Like, when you got a bulk of music, and it's like, you know, 15 or 20 records, you can still come away with a handful of these records where you feel great about the how album as a whole. Yeah, I probably only take five of them up my off of here and save 15 to my to my to my actual library. But like. Shoot, I like. I actually think some of those songs that was a part of Fargo Fridays could have been on her. Like, I like Absolutely. freaking Lupin. taking care. Oh my gosh, Cap! Like a lot of that shit was Come dope on. too. Tuh with uh, ESTG was crazy. Oh my god. Um, so I yeah. thought they were gonna be on here. A lot of these songs on her are still great. Like, I feel like I'm gonna listen to these records in the car, and this album probably will have the potential to grow, especially like riding with these joints at night. In like the intro, like he's, I will say, Tory Dog intro, Shriek is 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 pretty high. Like he's up there with being one of the best intro rappers uh, of all time. Like when you think of Money Fallouts, the I Told You um, um, intro, Love Me Now intro is nuts. Um, yeah, I mean, even New Toronto, um, that was crazy. What was that, Spicy? Pricey Spicy? That's New the, Toronto 3. Yeah, New Toronto 3, Pricey Spicy. That's my shit. That one crazy. Like, he, he's... Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, he's... And, and uh, Playboy, and this is just the intro. Oh, yeah. That may be his greatest. Like, yeah, so when you think of, like, his intros, he doesn't disappoint, man. What kind of didn't he give you that you kind of wanted more? I said it. The, the Fargo vibe. The Fargo I do vibe. love that he... I felt a lot of the I Told You vibe in there. Like, a yeah. lot. Throughout there, I yeah. really appreciate that. I appreciate that. That. But that was a reminiscence. I needed some of the stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah, I really needed shit. that. He, I don't, I don't, I don't, that Diego shit is almost uh, irreplicable, man. Like <laughs> that shit is like a different, different lane. Like blow, like that oh type of shit. Oh my gosh, this is what I'm saying. Or even shooters. I mean, even that's that's far ago. And I just feel, I just feel like he, he just. Not to say that, like, I'm not a person that really kills somebody if they keep on giving out the same content, like, subject matter-wise, if it's good. Which, it is a lot of her on that's good. I just think he kind of marginalized himself because if you know Tory Catalog, you know how capable he is of doing more than just this. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the guy that wrote pieces. Yeah, I don't think it this would be that... so bad if it wasn't so many songs. It wouldn't yeah. feel it like you're not, hearing the same would, thing no, over and over. It, it wouldn't be that bad. No, it wouldn't be that bad. This album was cut into half uh, with like two or three more records, 12 to 13. A mm -hmm. lot better. Yeah. A lot better. Um, and then when I think about the album title, it's like... That's what I was finna ask. When I think about the al album title, it doesn't really scream sorry for what mm -hmm. or unapologetic. I don't understand that. Maybe it's an underlining with just how he's talking about these relationships. Because it does seem like he's kind of just brutally honest with a lot of these people. He really is. Um, And just being... You know, kind of like he's on that, intro, and it's just an intro, like he knows he's a fuckboy. He knows I'm, you know, I may be doing you dirty. He know you, you may not think you're a part of my collection, but you are. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that does come off of unapologetic and like, you know, this is me. You, I am what you get. I'm not masquerading in something else. I'm not. Right. So, in that, if you think at it from that lens, I can see I just think it would speak more to that being his situation. And, you know, honestly, that can kind of be what we just want as fans because that's just been this forever nerd to follow him around. Now, if I'm an artist, I'm done talking about that. Like, right. I'm done making music around that. You know, if I'm Tory. Um, but I will say, I, do, I, I, I did, des I don't necessarily say, I, like, coming into this, I really didn't desire much. Like, Tory has proven to me much that he's, He's well, like, highly regarded in my book. I'm just always highly anticipating and, you know, amped up for new music by him. But as I was listening, I wanted more than just what I was already getting. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like I said, like, you know, if it's him talking about his, his um, him and in, in, in being in his fatherhood, him in his latest business ventures, him in what's to come, you know, after he's out of this situation and what this done to him mentally. But based on the title of the album, that's that's not what this is about. This is like about, like when we was just talking about people like wearing their bad boy image. Like that's what this is about. Play Picasso, he showed his butt off. Like he, he he's my favorite Tory producer. Um, him and Coop uh, are probably my favorite. Um, and they just always, you know, put together a great cohesive record uh, when they come together. Coop is the one that's behind a lot of uh, chick tapes though. He probably has some production. He does the keys. So he probably has some that don't hurt, but Play Picasso, I believe, did the boatload of this one. Um, so, yeah, man, overall, I think this album, because we sit in here just listening to it, does feel extensive, but I, I'm, I'm still anxious and urgent to play this in the car. Um... Because he, he, his music really thrives in the car. Just because it's so wholesome. And he has all these back vocals. And the production is just very full. Yeah, because listening to it right here, um, a lot of the vocals got lost. It felt like the music was really loud. Yeah. Like the, you have to really put your ear to it. were up under it. Yeah, but listen. It'll probably balance out in the car. Oh, in the car, I feel like this one is really gone. You know what I mean? Like, I may do a recap, like a... Uh, Two week later video responding to how it is after feeling um, listening to it in the car. So, yeah, man, still excited. I'm ready for him. I'm anxious to see you know as far as like what are the songs will be like the singles and videos that'll come out. Um, if it was up to me, I definitely would go with Roll Call by A Boogie. I thought that was that was pretty crazy and dope that A Boogie is pretty much the only feature on her. Yoko Go is another feature, but as far as like notable artists that everybody knows. Uh, if I had to rank this right now amongst this, uh, it's it's definitely not better than like the recent records that I was just naming. Playboy no. is probably his best album of his catalog. Between Playboy, Daystar, and um, probably Chicks Take 5 or 4. Oof. Yeah, those, or Lost Cause, those are those like his premium projects for me. Like, I can say right now, easily, it's not it's not on the level of those. Like, I feel like those records had more intention. When you think about subject matter, the amount of, tr the amount of tracks, and the direction of the pr uh, production. Like, Of Course Alone and Prime was very cohesive, all one direction. Playboy uh, and Daystar, 
they stayed a course and never was it never made me feel like I was like you know what I mean just kind of like everywhere like it started I felt. off so strong it did strong punch it was strong punches throughout it if you go from Hennessy memories to this ain't working ah uh, it's this different Oh my God! It's really different. Just and then, take out number six and seven. And you know, if we're in a moment, you know, maybe this album does grow better than some of the some of the uh, other ones that I might think may not think is, is is good right now. But we shall see, man. Y'all, y'all, let me know where does this stack up in his catalog. You know what I mean? Where, where does it sit at immediately? And um, if it grows, if it grows, get in the comment section. Let me know. We love you, Tori. Get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if it was hot or if it wasn't. Know what time it is, man. It's your boy Word. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll mix another video. Know what time it is, man. It's your boy Word. And we talk. We got it. Thanks for watching. Yay! Did it before and I do it again.